Hey everybody, this is Jeff. Uh, today we're going to go over your opening and closing maintenance on your National Optronics 4T or 4TX tracer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn the unit on. This can be done so with the switch on the back left corner of the unit. Once the machine powers on, uh, it's going to prompt you to do a frame size and axis calibration. Uh, in order to do that, uh, you will need your calibration tool. Uh, you can see here the circle side is always going to be on the right. Uh, so when you go ahead to do this calibration, just make sure that circle's on the right side. Uh, you'll also see on the right side there's a notch in the bottom of the circle. We've highlighted it red just to make it a little easier to see. Um, but there is an actual notch in the uh, metal there, uh, which you're going to use to help line up with your clamping studs. So to start this, we'll go ahead and we'll open up our clamp insert our tool, make sure that the notch is lined up with the clamping stud, and hit start. Uh, first it's going to go ahead and it's going to take a calibration of the right side. It's going to move over do a calibration of the left side. And then once it's done doing the calibration for the left side, uh, it's going to save any uh, calibration updates that need to be saved. If for some reason when you turn your unit on, uh, it does not prompt you to do a calibration, uh, in order to do so, uh, we're going to go right into our menu, uh, which you can use the bottom green button from your home screen. Option number five is verify calibration. And then uh, you'll be able to do that right from here as well. Uh, and then you can also choose here if you want to set it up for when you turn it on. So after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move into some of our other uh, maintenance. Alright, so our, our next uh, piece of opening maintenance is checking the stylus tip for wear. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll zoom in on the stylus tip. And in order to do this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our clamp. And we're going to be inspecting right here, making sure that it's not bent. Uh, there's a little metal ball on the end. You want to make sure that's intact, that there's no gouges or nicks taken out of it. And then when you're doing this, if there's any debris or buildup on there, go ahead and use uh, like a lens cloth uh, just to go ahead and kind of clean off that tip. Again, you want to be nice and gentle here, uh, but again, we want to make sure that's nice and clean. Otherwise, it's going to give us uh, false readings too. So after you've done that, uh, the only other thing that we're going to do here in the morning is we're going to check for missing or worn out clamping pads and studs. So your studs are the little metal pieces uh, right here. Uh, you actually have eight of them total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, those are your clamping studs. And then you might notice that uh, you actually have little pieces of like silicone on them. Those are the pads themselves. So if one of those uh, studs is missing one, uh, you're going to want to replace that. That way the frame sits in there properly. Uh, after you've done that, uh, you're basically ready to go and do some uh, frame traces. All right, thank you. All right, so that's our opening maintenance. Uh, as far as closing maintenance, uh, pretty simple here. Uh, first thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to vacuum our area. So if we've made a mess, uh, again, kind of clean up the area around it. Make sure that it's set up for your next day in the lab. Uh, last thing that we're going to want to do is you can wipe down your LCD uh, display. So normally when I do that, I'm going to turn my unit off. Again, that's that switch in that back left corner. And then if it's really dirty, uh, I can simply just use some form of a lens spray. We're never going to spray it directly onto the unit. So instead what we'll do is you can spray it on a lens cloth. And then again, we're just going to lightly kind of wipe off that display screen um, along with the rest of the unit, uh, get any dust or debris off of there, uh, that could affect its performance. After you've done that, that wraps up your uh, closing maintenance. Uh, if you have a cover for the machine, uh, you can always go ahead and cover up the machine to prevent any other kind of dust uh, or debris from getting on it overnight. Alright, thanks for watching guys.